Identifying risk factors, and we have some risk assessment tools out there, but it is about probability. The risk assessment tools that are out there uh, generally will give you 70 to 80 percent accuracy in determining whether somebody in the future will be at high, medium, or low risk of future violence. Do we need those tools? Yes, we do, because you need to know what level of structure that you need around a young person while you're providing an intervention to keep them from hurting other people. So we need these tools, but we need to be very, very aware that it's probability, not prediction, and we're applying group norms to an individual. So, and also as we're dealing with young people, we have to be very careful about labeling, and the fact that we might be wrong. There's a 20% chance if we apply a risk uh, assessment tool, there's a 20% chance that we're absolutely wrong. Which is why my thinking, even in the last month, has gone to risk reduction rather than risk prediction.